Holy cow, you guys, look at this. I actually had a really shitty run today because my legs still hurt and I seriously cut it short. But after that first mile drill, I gotta tell you, when my heart rate wasn't up that high, I'm thinking, hmm, what's up with this? Because it sure felt like a lot. But this is what I did, 15 hours recovering. Oh, it won't show me now. Because it's, it's, it normally shows you how long, uh, well, I guess before I go to that screen, it shows you how long um, or how far you've done. There you go. See, that was it. Real short run, but wow, we go to achievements and holy cow, this is kind of cool. All right, time for my shower. Oops, let's get out of here. Time for my shower and I will get you guys caught up. Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Tuesday of week 12 of my marathon training program. Today, of course, is interval day. And um, as you kind of saw in the beginning, uh, I definitely did not have the day I planned in a good way and a bad way. Um, yeah, I'm still dealing, uh, I, I, I'm still dealing with the leg pains. Um, I got a massage over the weekend through uh, Arizona School of Massage Therapy. Uh, the nice thing about this is that they're student massages, uh, student massages. So, um, basically, you can go in there for $25, you can get yourself their standard 50-minute massage. And they're done by students. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're awesome. And every now and then, twice now, only twice now, I've had some student give me a massage the way she would have liked it instead of the way I would have liked it. But other than that, it's, it's not bad. It's, you know, it's, it's money well spent, per se. You know, it definitely... Um, I years ago I had an, uh, a membership at Massage Envy. If you guys have that franchise out where you live, and um, and to be honest with you, I you know for the was it the sixty bucks a month I was paying at the time, compared to twenty five dollars, um, pretty adequate massage. I'm not gonna kid you. I um, you know Massage Envy, yeah, those people are a little bit more seasoned, but sixty bucks over twenty five dollars. I definitely didn't get twice the massage and massage envy, that's for certain. But anyhow, I had that done and oh yeah, the poor girl helped me realize that everything from the butt down was tight in the, as far as the hamstrings go. Uh, hamstrings, calves, I had a lot of tightness, a lot of knots in, I mean, yeah, knots in my legs. Um, so she definitely helped work some of that out. Um, so that made a big improvement, uh, but unfortunately my, my, I'm feeling it still in my feet, not, not so much in the muscles, but still in the feet, like in the bones, and that bothers me. It really troubles me. Um, so before I go into that anymore, uh, two things. First of all, on Saturday, I forgot to give a shout out to uh, uh, my, uh, my, next, uh, my next marathon. Um, as, I, as you guys know, every Saturday I'm wearing uh, the marathon shirt from you know, each of my races as I've done. This is the 20, the PF Chains 2011. See that? That's okay. That's the PF Chains 2011 when I ran PF Chains in 2011. With PF Chains is no longer the primary sponsor, but it's basically the Rock and Roll Marathon series. So Rock and the so when we call it the PF Chains, we knew it was the PF Chains slash Rock and Roll Marathon here in Phoenix. Anyhow, that's the shirt from that one. And so uh, I've. I didn't notice it until I was doing editing on, um, on Saturday's video. I'm like, oh, I forgot to even talk about this. So um, I was going to go ahead and just put in like a little textual blurb somewhere, but because of the way this picture is framed, it was really hard to find a good spot with either white lettering or black lettering to where it would have really stood out. So um, I thought I'd just go ahead and wear it today and bring that to guys' attention. Um, as always, we'll start out with our shot of wheatgrass every day. Now, um, back to this morning, so I, I really do, I get up every morning and, and, and I really hope for the best because I, I want to push, I want to excel, I want to train hard. You, you guys know this um, and unfortunately, you know, I, 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 you know, somewhere along the line I'm just, you know, you know, overtraining myself into the ground but I'm still trying to work through that. And to be honest with you, um, the way today, this morning went, I personally was just going to like forget it you know what maybe I'll just maybe I'll just cross train the rest of the week and do some cycling or something like that and uh, and so um, you know 
But when I got home and you guys saw, I first, you know, I first got back, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I took and graduated to, uh, to 54 on my VO2 max. So I had to tell you guys about that. So I didn't have nothing set up. Um, so I come back and I'm like, oh, got to get my tripod, got to get my camera out, got to get everything going. And so I wanted to share that with you guys because, you know, for weeks I've been talking about, you know, making that, that change. And to be honest with you, I kind of noticed it on my run. I kind of noticed it on my run. Um, going out, yes, you know, my, my feet were hurting. And to be honest with you, I really did not expect to see the numbers I saw today. Although I was, I will admit, I was personally shooting for a, uh, a six minute flat on the mile, which sadly I fell short on. Um, but the thing is though, is that although I felt short, I, I still made strides in other areas. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute. Because last week when I only did the one mile and then I did the two extra miles at uh, like basically um, velocity VO2 max, that kind of like a threshold type run, um, that first mile wasn't too bad. To be honest with you, that first mile, I felt like I could have done a few more of, you know, had my legs not been hurting. But ironically today, for whatever reason, that, that one mile, I pushed myself, and I'll show you in a moment, and I was good. I really didn't want to do any more. I mean, had my body not hurt, yeah, I would have just dealt with it. But, I mean, it was that kind of mile. And so, uh, so with that, let's go ahead and begin. Uh, today, yes, sadly, I only did uh, 2.3 miles. Uh, you know, I was only out there for 23 minutes total. Spent just 258 calories. Uh, yeah, today's temperature is about 82. I think Garmin was about uh, about 81, somewhere right there. Humidity is 28%. Um, definitely a nice change. What kind of monsoon break, I guess. And uh, something, a few things that really caught my attention. Even though I'm still, I'm feeling pain even though I'm feeling pain like in like the, the bones of my feet not so much specific muscles because I, I really believe the massage made a big difference on Sunday and I had been spending more time stretching and things like that but so I wasn't really feeling muscular pain as far as just like pains in my feet like the bones and stuff um, so I really thought honestly I thought I was gonna go kind of backwards as far as progress goes as far as stride and cadence and stuff like that. But you can see here, you can see here, uh, cruising right along here in the, in the cadence line, the very bottom, just kind of follow along with these numbers. And other than a couple spots, I was definitely below the 180 stride mark. So not too bad, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, today, because I was cut short, it was only, aerobic threshold was only 2.6. I have this pull up compared to uh, last week, which is August 1st, I had that compared up to when I had did the four and a quarter miles at 88 degrees. And of course, my threshold was 3.6. Now, last week, uh, yeah, all okay. right, I'll get into that in a moment. So going back here, so going back here, I'm thinking, all right, looking around, not too bad. Um, but my splits, now this is where it gets, this is where it gets good because you guys saw the 54 VO2 max on my watch. I was like, wow. And I've toggled with that in the past. And it goes 54, it goes back to 53, 54, 53. I've seen that. Um, will I hold it this time? I don't personally know. Well, we'll find out. But what I was trying to do is because my first thought was, well, would it have been 54 if I would have done those two extra miles at like velocity VO2 max like I did last week, kind of like an apples to apples thing. So I was looking for some data to kind of help me better understand what was going on this morning. So we got the two yellow lines highlighted. The first yellow line is my uh, the first mile warm up. As you guys know, it's always like one point, well, usually like 1.15. I guess today is 1.13, um, but pretty much like that's about the distance before my uh, my my you know my uh, splits begin. So. My average pace this morning, going out 8.34, okay? Average moving pace, 8.51, pay attention. Now, average heart rate was only 138 with a max of 153, okay? Now, we go to last week's, 
and my average pace is 824 with an average moving pace 821. So about 10 seconds off. Average heart rate last week was 144 with a max of 157. Okay, whereas today my max was 153, so four beats lower, and my average was 138, six beats lower. Yes, I know, understand it was 10 seconds slower. So I say, what else can we, we can, what else can we learn about this? Now this week my average cadence was 177, <clears throat> and last week my average cadence was 180. Okay. To be honest with you. I did not expect to see my, my stride open up like that. I really didn't see that. I, I, didn't, feel, I, I didn't think it was going to happen. Um, especially because, like I said, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm running through pain. And, and as we know through the, through the weeks prior, well, apparently with muscular pain, your stride shortens up because your legs don't want to extend themselves. But apparently, apparently the muscles were feeling better. It's just the feet that were bothering me. Now, average stride length was 1.06 interesting here how the same okay and we you saw we flipped over average stride length was 106 on 834 compared to 106 and 824 hmm kind of interesting so clearly on a 10 seconds lower pace my stride was considered long all right well, fine we'll let it go and oops, sorry didn't really didn't look like those little alerts of people you subscribe to anyhow this is where it gets interesting now so my first split last week was 9,800 to a mile, fine, at a 617. On a 613 pace, uh, average moving pace, with a maximum heart rate of, or I'm sorry, average of 168. Now this week, um, I only did a 614. So 614 with an average of 609, compared to, let me move this over a little bit, compared to 617 with an average of 613, okay? Kind of apples to apples. Um, here, my best pace was a 541. Yes, I, I confirmed that. Now, my average heart rate was 154. Pretty interesting. Average heart rate of 154 with a max of 167. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. So, my heart wasn't beating too fast, and the speed was pretty much the same. Because, okay, three seconds faster overall. Whereas here, the average was 168, and I maxed out at 179. So 168 average compared to 154 average. 12 beats. Very, very interesting. And within a few seconds, pretty much the same, the same mile speed. Although here, uh, yes, my best pace was a 541. Compared to here, uh, my, my best pace was a 602. Now, also, I look over here, and last week my stride length was 1.36 on 89 calories. Here, my stride length was 1.40 on 79 calories. So, yes, my stride opened up. My pace was, you know, you know maybe a few seconds faster. My stride definitely opened up, and my, and my calories were, were down by 10 calories for the mile. Almost identical mile. Pretty interesting. So, kind of interesting let you see from week to week what a 53 VO2 max looks like compared to a 54 VO2 max. So, this kind of helps us to better understand what this VO2 max is all about, why it's even important. Because it's a loss, again, it's a velocity of oxygen uptake. The maximum velocity of velocity. I can't even, I can't even talk this morning. But it's back to the VO2 max, the maximum velocity, maximum volume oxygen uptake, sorry. And so um, clearly when your, your cardiovascular system is capable of absorbing taking in more oxygen that means your muscles can work more efficiently and your heart can actually beat slower because it doesn't need to beat as fast to get the same job done because heartbeat is all about oxygen demand so as your muscles are just burning through this oxygen the heart needs to pick up the pace in order to replenish the muscles and keep them going so as the muscles become more efficient then uh, 
then, and of course, your, your, your heart becomes more efficient because, you know, the, the heart muscle itself grows and becomes just more efficient at pumping. It, you can slow your heart rate down. Pretty interesting. So, that helps me to better understand what was going on with myself this morning. And, um, and yes, although things have not been going the way I want, this was truly a pleasant surprise. A, a truly a pleasant surprise I'm certainly not going to complain about. So um, that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, I'll share with you a little bit more at the end of the week what's going on as far as, as, far as the marathon goes. So I've got some news for you on that. Um, and then we can go from there. But anyhow, we're just going to keep focused on the week, make the best of it, because technically this at the end of this week, wraps up the end of phase three of my marathon training. So, um, if you like today's video, please certain hit, please be certain to hit the like button. If you haven't already, please be certain to subscribe to the channel because every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday I post a new video. Tuesdays are always intervals. Uh, right now, uh, Thursdays are always tempos, and of course, Saturdays are always long run. So, and of course, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm always happy to address them. Until Thursday, you guys have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you then. Take care.